Hello and welcome back to our Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, where last time we played through the Triforce Cup on 50cc, and today I'll be playing through the Crossing Cup, almost forgot what it was there for a second, on 50cc, and we're going to be using Shy Guy, and we'll use, uh, mix it up, we'll use, we'll use Blue Shy Guy today, why not? Uh, and we're going to be using the, oh, okay, well I guess we'll pick our car first and then we'll announce, we will unlock the Hot Monster Tires last time, so we're going to use that today. And we're going to be using those Hot Monster Tires with the Master Cycle Zero, which is the only bike that we've yet to use. And we'll use it with the Flower Glider, here are the stats, with a serious amount of traction, holy hell. And we're once again going to make sure that Smart Steering and Auto Acceleration are indeed disabled. And so without further ado, let's dive into the Crossing Cup on 50cc. Let's do this. Now, this may be an unpopular stance to take, and if it is, you're more than welcome to tell me in the comment section what you think about this course, and this, I guess, this cup as a whole. But I happen to think that the Crossing Cup is 50% awesome and 50% utter garbage. Uh, and the 50% that's amazing is the second half, and the, sec and the 50% that's, that's not is the first half, because this course is... I, I really... I think this might be my least favorite course in the entire game, because it's literally just an oval, and that's it. And I, I know you might call me hypocrite because you're like, oh, but it's Sideback Arena, it's just an oval, you don't, you don't hate that one. And you're right, I don't. Because that one, at least, like, the, the course itself changes each time in the sense that there's those obstacles, and it, it feels like you're doing, it feels like you're doing dirt bike tricks in that one, and because, like I said, the... Uh, of the way that the course is laid out, and it feels like it, it changes every time because of where the obstacles are. But this one's just, it's just, just an oval. It's just a big oval, uh, that happens to be in the middle of Baby Park. And it's just, there's nothing to it. It's just that. And I think the reason why this pisses me off so much is because the concept of driving through, uh, like, racing in an amusement park is phenomenal. Like, imagine if you could go, imagine if you had a level where you could just, like, like, it was, imagine it being a three-section course where you go through... Um, excuse me, all these different adventures and all these different, um, attractions, like you go to Luigi's Mansion over to the left, the forest, that castle over there to the left-hand side, I think it's called Baby Castle, I don't know, um, going through that, that shop over there, up on that pirate ship, just going through, driving through, like, maybe you even get to go on the roller coaster at some point, just imagine the potential of being able to drive through all these unique locations in the park itself, but no, instead it's just, it's just going around in a circle the whole time, or I guess in an oval, it's just the same the same obnoxious four turns every time, and I don't know if maybe, I don't know if a lot of people love Baby Park, or if a lot of people share what I have, share my thoughts on it, and that it's, it's crap, but I really don't like Baby Park, I, I never have, I hated it from the moment I played it, and I've just, I've, I've just, it's, that's been consistent, I've, I've never, I've, I've never enjoyed my time, I guess, maybe on 200cc there's an element to it where you can like, kind of enjoy, actually I'll talk about this in the, in the next race. At least in tournaments, you see, at least you have the element of, like, because it's so, it's such a short course, you get a sense of, like, extra speed and going around it so fast. But that's really it, because it's just nothing to it. There, it's some cool background scenery, but it, it, it's the background scenery that makes me think, okay, but why can't I, why can't I explore the background scenery? Why are you making me race around this tiny little, this four-turn oval track, instead of actually unleashing me into the, into the great unknown in the amusement park itself, so. Never been a fan of that course. Um... And this course, not not really. I mean, it's not it's not like bottom to your trash like Baby Park is, but it just kind of falls into the same trap that the other. Because you meant you remember earlier I mentioned how I'm not a big fan of desert levels because it's just it's really hard to make a desert interesting. It can be done, but it's really it's it's it, when you're dealing with just a a vast expanse of nothingness and bland sand everywhere you go, it's not it's pretty hard to make it an interesting course, and. I guess you could say, like, oh, but this isn't a desert, you see, it's, it's cheese land, it's like, you, come on, you, if I showed, 
this to the average person, they would first if I say what what biome does this remind you of, first thing they say is a desert every time. It, it's a desert. It's 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 a desert that happens to have a, a few cheese blocks strewn over everywhere for good measure. And also I think there's some pizza in the background uh, when you're when you when you're going by where the chain shop is. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I don't know. Um, like, again, I, th th I think this might be... Because Baby Park, I would say, is just like a genuine garbage course. This one might just be more of a thing where I'm just, I just, I'm just not personally a fan of the, the style of it. Uh, but yeah, so, first, first, first half of Crossing Cup, wasn't super impressed by it when I first played it, and I'm still not impressed by it to this day. However, the second half of it has some of my favorite courses in the entire game. Specifically the next one, and then the, the fourth one has some novelty to it as well. But you know, the that's just you, you just got you got to push through a, a, the first a first the first two courses of, of rubbish before you can get to the, the second two courses of awesomeness. Because there isn't there isn't even all that much to say about this. It's just it's just just a desert, uh, and that's all. It's it's not even like it's not even like dry dry ruins where in in uh or I, I get the mix up. I think dry dry ruins is the one from Mario Kart Wii, and dry dry desert's the one from 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 this game. Uh, Dry Dry Ruins where you have the Temple to Explore, or Dry Dry Desert where you have, you know, you have the, the Oasis section at the end. This is, it's got nothing, it's just, I mean, I guess it's got the Chain Chomps over here, but, you know, whoop to doo am I right? I don't know, I, maybe, because again, I'm not, I'm not really well versed in the Mario Kart community discussions in terms of, like, course rankings and all that, so I don't, I don't know if it's an unpopular stance to take that Cheese, to, that Cheese Land sucks, or that Baby Park sucks. Uh, I feel like I feel like that there'd be less resistance to the idea that Baby Park sucks compared to saying that Cheese Land sucks, but I'm just I'm just I just don't like either course to be honest with you. But they're both done now, so that's nice, I suppose. And next time, or not next time, but the next race, uh, I can actually praise a bit because oh man, do I love the next race! Again, this is what anti-gravity was made for. This, I feel like the DLC courses almost handled the concept of anti-gravity better than the main courses did, like, throughout the, throughout the main eight cups. This is just... Th this course is phenomenal. Like, starting off on the side of a tree trunk, you have to you drive to the tree trunk, and this... It, it, I guess the running trend between all the ones, all the courses that, I, that are, like, among my favorites is that they all feel like an adventure, and this one... You know, driving up the tree trunk, going through what feels like an enchanted forest, exploring the inner, the inside of a tree trunk and seeing like a little shy guy village in there. Going down a little bit of a waterfall, water slide kind of thing right here. Concluding in the oasis, which you'll see in a second, the oasis, uh, it's, it's right here. Bouncing over the lily pads, just, this feels like a proper adventure where you're, you're just, just going on, you're going on a journey through the enchanted forest. Uh, zipping up and down the, uh, those are the sides of tree trunks that you see. As you see, like, these mechanisms, like, these Swiss Family Trio style mechanisms in the, in the distance, uh, showing off, like, how the Shy Guys, I guess, I guess, live, uh, here. And, you know, seeing, seeing birds flying in the distance and all that just add so much, all the little details, add so much life to this course. I, I real I love Wild Woods. For, for as crap as the first half of this, of this cup is, it, they really make up for it with the second half. They really really make up for it and specifically this course alone i think is enough to make up for those first two just looking at all the little details and all the life that this this course has to offer it's just it's just fantastic the next course next course has a bit of novelty to it for something that i will talk about when it when we actually get to it uh it doesn't really have a whole lot i mean you know it's it's it, 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 it's a nice course in terms of its design but it feels it feels less like a, it feels less like an adventure that that one feels a bit more like a, a, tr a traditional race course than than something like this one, where this one feels like an adventure that you just happen to be racing in. Uh, the next one definitely feels, definitely feels like a more traditional race course, but at least it has a, a pretty environment to look at, uh, and a pretty environment that changes depending on uh, depending on which uh, season you get. I was I was contemplating whether or not to actually give away the uh, the, the gimmick of it, but uh, if you don't know, the next uh, the, the next track that we're gonna race on actually has four different versions of it that you could potentially play on. So I'm very Hopefully, because we have, we have five chances here. We have 50cc, that's one. 100cc, that's two. 150, that's three. Mirror, that's four. And then 200cc, we have five chances to get these seasons. So, ideally, we'll, I'll be able to show off all four seasons by the end of this LP. Because, um, you know, they're, they're all, they all have little differences to them to make them all sort of unique in their own little way. But, uh, I guess that's enough talking about it, because now we're almost at the finish line, and I can finally show off what I'm talking about. So, let's go ahead and cross that finish line. And then I get to show you all 
what it is about this next course that makes it so unique in terms of the season. So, uh, of course, if you, if you saw what the course is, of course, was in the intro, then you obviously know what we're getting into. Or if you just played this game before, you know what we're getting into here. But now it's time for the final race of the Crossing Cup. I was hoping we get this one first since it's, you know, summertime. Uh, so th this is this this is the summer season, and there's four seasons. You have well, obviously the four seasons. You have fall or autumn, if you will, winter, spring, and summer. And we uh, we we got the summer one, which I guess is apt since it's, you know summertime right now. But I'm hoping I'm hoping that by the end of the season, uh, end of the season, the end of the LP, we we will get uh we'll get the spring one, the fall one, and the winter one. I honestly I don't know which my favorite is because I guess because they they all look gorgeous in terms of when they um. In terms of their presentation, I mean, that's just the case for every case, case, I said it again, for every track in the game, they all look gorgeous. But in terms of which one, which one I like the most, I really don't know. Because they all have their own little, like, the obstacles and the environments change depending on which, uh, which season you're in. So it, it adds a new, new flavor with each season. And the, uh, the coins change, not in appearance, I think the, the symbol on the coin might change. But the, 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 but the actual presentation of the coin itself, by and large, is it's the same model. But the, uh, just, you see, it's a star instead of, like, a line in the middle that, that you might traditionally expect. And this, we're just getting hit by everything today. But the actual thing that changes is the symbol in the bottom left that actually indicates that it looks like the Animal Crossing currency, I think. Because I've never actually, well, I was going to say I've never played Animal Crossing. I have played Animal Crossing. I've only played one game. I've played Animal Crossing New Horizons for about an hour. And... I, it's not, I wouldn't call it a bad game. I, like, I wouldn't say that it's, it's flawed in its design or anything. I, I think it's a perfectly functional game. I think it's, it, it is good. It's just not my kind of game. Which I didn't expect, because I'm usually a big fan of, like, simulation-style tycoon games. I'm a big fan of those types of games, because they're just kind of a relaxing way to kind of take a break from the world, just relax for a bit, and enjoy this virtual world you've created, where you can, you can customize it to your whim. Like, one of my favorite games when I was a kid is, is a PC game called The Movies, where you manage your own movie studio and kind of develop buildings, uh, depending on what you needed, hire actors, things like that, it was because, you know, you know me, and I'm a big creative, I'm a fan of that kind of stuff, so that was, love that kind of game, that just, that kind of style of the tycoons, I'm, I'm a big fan of, but I don't know, something about Animal Crossing just didn't really appeal to me, I, I, don't, I couldn't tell you why, it's just, I guess, maybe the general gameplay style isn't for me, uh, but I know that a lot of people really, really love that game, and it's, and, and that game series, and especially considering when it came out last year, I think it was a very timely game to release, and I think it was, uh, exactly what a lot of people needed at the time that it came out so it was a it was a accidentally well-timed game release if you know what i'm talking about but so you know uh i'm happy that a lot of people got enjoyment out of it i just was it just wasn't really my kind of thing i guess is what i would have to say there but yeah so i've never not exactly an animal crossing fan i'm not but even still i i really adore this course and, and how it, in its visual splendor and its layout so I'm looking forward to showing you guys the other seasons as we go throughout the throughout the LP, assuming that the RNG is in my favor and we actually get the other seasons, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's view the results. One thing that kind of bugs me is the fact that the DLC trophies don't have special designs. Like, all the other cups from Mushroom, Flower, Star, Special, Shell, Banana, Leaf, and Lightning, they all have uniquely designed trophies. These just all have the same base trophy design with just a, lo a different logo slapped on the front of it. So, kind of a kind of a nitpick, but still. Anyway, you've collected 330 coins. A new vehicle customization option has been unlocked, and we're going to see what that is next time. But for now, that will be it for this video. So, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I hope to catch you all tomorrow for some more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Goodbye.